Hey, relax, tropical. We listening and driving, almost home. Okay, peekaboo. Y'all be safe now. Anyway, welcome to another cooking live with Dorsha. Dorsha. Yay! As I told you, we were going to start this live in the backyard. So, um, let me know if you can hear me. He's recording as well. So, um, peekaboo. We are at the grill, and I'm also going to give a garden update. Now, do bear with me if I cannot catch your comments in the chat because, you know, it's a little more difficult when I'm on the phone and my laptop is in the kitchen, but I wanted us to start the day. Hey, Erica, how are you doing? Erica Michelle. Good evening, Sherry. Sherry and Bobby say travel. Hey, Ruth, how are you doing? my um, fellow Georgia soul, soil sister. Anyway, a ray of sunshine. Make sure y'all go to my website. Go to Dorsha Inspire. There's a drop down um, page and you can buy soul food merch. Food to feed your soul. Yes. So we're in the back. The grill is piping hot. We're going to put some Hey EJ, how are you doing? We're going to put some um, uh, chicken thighs. I have one chicken breast. Really not a fan of that for what we're trying to do. Am I broken? Are you broken? What do you mean, are you broken? <laughs> she said, um, am I broken and I can't get up? <laughs> uh, please let me know. In this background, um, from Sunday's uh, video, the uh, in incense that was mentioned Oh, your phone. <laughs> the incense. Um, this keeps mosquitoes away. I wish I... Oh, hey, Sharice. How are you doing? Uh, I wish I had it um, yesterday while I was out in the garden. I mean, those mosquitoes, they tore me all the way up. But since we, we're starting here... Hey, FR. Hey, Felicia. How are you doing? We're going to... Um, I'm going to give you a garden update. Because I'm very um, proud of what's going on. I also want to share with you about the seeds that I have also dropped. Our meal today is actually quite simple. Chicken bowl. I don't know if you all are familiar with Chipotle. But guess what? You can do your own thing at home. Okay? Yes. So anyway, the grill is going. The chicken breasts have been marinating. Now, um... There is a packet of seasoning. I think McCormick make, makes it, and it's called Mojito. Um, you take some oil, one-fourth cup of oil, a, a two, I think I did two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and two tablespoons of water. Mix it all together and let that marinate. So that's what's already happened. Um, we're going to do the, do the um, rice. Now for the rice... You can um, do cilantro rice. Some people don't like some, uh, cilantro, but you can also take the zest of a lime if you wanted to and add that in with your rice, or you can do none of the above, okay? Big a boo. It's your, it's your meal. You can do it however you want to. But I will go in the house um, a little bit later and share with you all of the other things that are going on. Thank y'all so much for hitting that thumbs up button. I appreciate it. So... Um, he, um, just finished on his video, so now I'm getting ready to take y'all on a little tour. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready to go with me? I like ginger rice. Mmm, that sounds yummy. Hey, happy life. How are you doing? Look at him. He's hard at work. That's why he's called Sunday Backyard Farmer. Wow, we be busy in these YouTube streets. Loving it. Share, girl. <laughs> yes, the content creators busy they be on it and the supporters be like okay i'm on this channel this channel whatever but hey even if you're not able to join us live catch the replay every bit counts so anyway let me share with you what is going on and why i spent a lot of time in the garden yesterday so i'm going to turn you around and uh yay now this is the incense i was telling you about you see that I did take some holy basil and then I put it up there. But it's the sweet basil. I'm getting ready to prune it back though. Uh, it smells so good. And then I broke up my um, 
Greek oregano into two pots because what was in here, the peppermint and lemon balm, I actually moved it so it can deter pests in another area where I need pests deterred. So, and of course, um, y'all are familiar with the Mazuna. And remember, I did um, take a lot of this when Bobby and Cherie were here. And it is perennial in nature. It just grew back even more. So, let's check out my watermelon. Okay. Look on the inside. It's growing. Some new growth in there. You see that? Yeah. This is my longevity um, spinach, so not too much going on there. But this is what I want to show you. You see these black eyed peas? I mean, look at this. It's as long as my hand. This is a big deal for me because I've never grown black eyed peas before. Look at this. They are very long. More coming in too. You see this? And so I told you I had to trellis those. But look. Do you see this? How long this is? And remember, I'm doing this in a... Hey, G Mama. How are you doing? I'm doing this inside of a container. That's it. Look, this one hasn't grown as long, but it still has that tip on it. But look at this. In a container. My black eyed peas, okay? <sighs> All right. These are the other black eyed peas. And there's more over here. Hey, Andell, how are you doing? Thank you for joining us. We appreciate you. I had lady cream and pink eye purple hull for the first time. Hey, grow nicely. Uh, so this will be coming in soon. You can tell by these tips. And they can get quite tall. You see this one? I mean, it's just very tall. Look at this. Now, um, I do want to correct something. That right there that says hot Sunday end up informing me that that has nothing to do with anything as far as our laundry. That's only when the fireplace is on, so that didn't have anything to do with why, what was going on with the jasmine at all. But, um, I have some new life on my jasmine, so I am very happy about that. So, just wanted you to know. So, um, I started trellising some of them over there, but these are the black eyed peas. Um, I had some garlic so I'm starting to put garlic around the perimeter of my gar um, garden you know to deter the pest y'all see what's going on with my black turmeric um, so this is where I put the lemon balm I was reading um, on the internet about how that can help deter pests there's the moringa and then I moved these right here hey homestead in the hood how are you doing hey african dreaming so i moved these these used to be in the center but i moved them because i need more space so those are going to be the blueberry um cherry tomatoes now this is what i dropped from seed two weeks ago it was the This was the um, honey boat squash, or also called delicata. Okay. Now my husband was telling me because I just dropped seed, I ended up with a lot of them. But in order for them to properly grow, I did space them, and it was just a shame because I had so many of them. Now I am sensitive to vine borers because that's what happened with my zucchini and my yellow neck squash the last time. In addition to the fact that I had a lot of males and not a lot of females. So, don't want to make that, that same mistake. So, this is the thing. I did some research. And beets are deterrent for vine borers. So, what you see over here is beets. These are called um, Detroit Dark Reds. 
and I actually germinated these after I had did this okay I'm also putting garlic around this as well now this right here that's taking up all of this area because I germinated so many of them I, I literally had these things in clusters so I dug them up and then I spread them out so that everything could grow but you see how many like that's still kind of like in a cluster and there's garlic because I started putting garlic around yeah so um, this is Russian red kale or ragged jack that's what all of this is and um, peppermint will deter um, the pest it's so I have some peppermint and I have the garlic which will also deter um, pests and here's some more of the squash so I just wanted to share that with y'all because you know I'm still trying to figure all this out I'm a new gardener I got a late start um, this right here is the honey bolt squash and then I purposely put the beets in there with it because they will deter the vine borer the moth, the white butterfly that lays his eggs. Woo! Yes. Now I am going to do garlic by itself, I mean onions, um, but I'll um, plant those with something else. So now my first time doing grow bag. So let me show you what's going on in my grow bag. Now, once again, y'all, I am a novice at this. And literally when I say I drop seeds, I literally like honey I drop seeds this is called um, Benny Kodima Kodima this is watermelon and it's germinating and I have to find a space for this watermelon y'all do y'all see this all of this has germinated and of course they all can't be in there but hey I don't have any luck with the germination on the inside inside of here you have pepper sugar roast red and kale thousand head you see how i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to break them up but hey if anybody lives near me and you want some of this you let me know because i got plenty okay thank you ruth i'm telling you it broke my heart to have to i had so many which i guess you would call starts for the um honey i mean the uh yeah, the honey boat squash and also for this kale and i would have loved if someone i knew lived right here because while i was sitting here thinning it out i didn't have anywhere else to go i had to ask him if i could use one but yeah i mean literally look y'all like i don't have any space all of this is his and this is my little area so got a question for you i cleared this out what should go in there should it be well i don't think the watermelon right i need some more space for my watermelon i don't know but it could be the sugar red um or it could be the kale but i put them together i don't know but okay i have something else that i planted another grow bag <laughs> uh, once again this is my first time with a grow bag so <laughs> i got grow bag happy and let me let you know something there's celery in here how close you to Connolly? i got trading seeds i don't know Connolly, like downtown atlanta or Connolly, georgia i'm in douglas there's uh not celery there's something else and i forgot what i put in there i gotta go and look at my seeds oh y'all this is it, i got i got i got yeah i think that's another kale but anyway <laughs> y'all oh my goodness but this is what i'm thinking i'm gonna do my research so i can find out when these black eyed peas will be ready so then that will free up some space there and then when these black eyed peas are ready that will also free up some space right and i'm like anybody want um some watermelon start <laughs> <laughs> Say hey. 
Oh, he did the Southern Gentleman. You know how they, they do their hats and everything. Man, look at this. It's getting so big. Oh my goodness. You see that? This one down here, honey. This thing haven't done anything. Stop. You get too aggressive. You're going to knock it off. <laughs> look, you see how protective he is She's about so his aggressive. Food? She's knocking him uh, around and stuff. That's how he sleep with me. He aggressive. He be knocking me off. <laughs> I love the way okra flower look, honey. They look better than the okra. Well, in my opinion, before someone comes trying to heckle me. Oh, shoot, this cucumber over here look like it might be ready. Babe, but can I show them my favorite part? What? Your garden. Okay, y'all. I'm going to show y'all my very favorite part. I am so happy. I am so happy about this part. I am so excited. Are y'all ready? Look! Do y'all see that? Look! Oh, look at it! And here's a little baby next to it, but it looks like, yeah, you see that? Babe, that one's not gonna make it. Let me turn this one so that don't happen to that one. Yeah, he covered it to protect it from the chipmunk. You know what I mean? Because he had one down there, but the chipmunk ate half of it. But look at this one right here. You see that little foot foot? Oh, look at it. Let me turn you around so you don't do like the other one. So look. Got plenty more going on around here. I don't even know what this weed is that's growing everywhere. <laughs> but, you know, this is the watermelon. You see that fur? That's amazing. I don't even know what all this stuff was. I wouldn't have been able to identify okra or uh, watermelon without the fruit being on there. But, hey, and I, and I think that um, okra has a pretty leaf. I like that, even though kind of reminds you of cannabis, but I'm just saying. Anywho, <laughs> peek -a um, the black, black Arkansas apple's not doing too well. Hey, Miss Shirley, watermelon in my Beyonce video. Okay. Hey, Miss Shirley OG. Uh-oh, I think he got something going on down here, y'all. Yeah. Uh-oh, we got a flower for some eggplant. My um son, oldest son, did a garden um, tour with his lady friend last night and I was walking them through the garden um, telling them what the various crops were and he was so impressed that I knew everything he was like that was nice and she was in awe <laughs> shoot uh, I, I'm impressed you know what I'm saying look at Sunday backyard farmer look at this dude <laughs> all right y'all Let's get in the kitchen so we can get our chicken and get it on the grill. And um, let's look. Yes. Um, that grill is ready. I'm coming back to put the food on the grill. All right, y'all. Come on. Come and come. Oh, come and. Oh, wait a minute. Come and go with me. No. <laughs> I forgot the song. It's like a Christopher Williams song. Come on over to my place. <laughs> Come on and go with me. Yeah, that's what I think that's a Come on over to my place. Yeah, I think that's how the song goes. Come on and go with me. Uh, uh. Come on over to my place. Okay, I'm trying to get y'all up on the screen so I can be able to look at the chat and talk to you at the same time. Peekaboo. I don't know, something weird is going on with how my chat is coming up, so. Hope I saw everyone. Come on and go with me. Mm, mm. Come on over to my place. Ah, Y'all remember that song? Come on and go with me. I think he may have sampled that from someone else, you know what I mean? Yeah, he, he's a good um, singer. I've actually met him before. Um, he came to an event that um, my boss, who was also my client at that time, was hosting. And yeah, I think his 
wife or somebody was in the real housewives doing something. I don't know. You may need to wipe the camera lens. It's a little blurry. Okay. Give me one second. Oh, I'm getting ready to wipe it. Is that better? Let me know. Uh oh, I got you on the cheese and everything. Is that better? Oh, let me wash my hands. I feel like, ugh. Mm. Even though I'm about to go out in this um, backyard and put this chicken on the grill. I actually do have gloves in the kitchen. <laughs> oh. oh, you know what? What am I doing? I actually took it out so it could get kind of room temperature. Now, I was able to get um, sure, uh, I think it was like a whole pack. I can't remember how many pieces, but it was a lot of chicken thighs at Sam's Club. Mm. It was about seven dollars i'm rounding because it was like six dollars on something um i know it varies some parts of the country the prices for everything is just very absorbent but i figure because mortgages and rent are higher here than most places except for new york and la they give us a break on the um, food because <laughs> honey i promise ah. anyway let's make it happen And I'm going to take my handy dandy grill master, grill master. Y'all come and come and go with me. Come on over to my grill. Mm -mm. Come and go with me. Uh oh, I got a maneuver, and I don't have any help. Uh oh. Can y'all still see something? <laughs> I mean, this man, he is getting it in, honey. I promise you. I'm gonna put y'all over here. Put y'all down. Big old chicken breath. Y'all like, whoa, it is on fire, ain't it? It's not that bad. See that? Don't let the fire fool you. Y'all like, ooh, it's getting hot in here. So take up all your do 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 bye. Do 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 bye. See this? Don't be alarmed because you see fire. <laughs> be like, girl, you about to burn that chicken up. I promise you I'm not. See this? It's all good. Y'all like this girl sitting up here. I don't have my tongs as you see. And you know I can melt these, but I won't. But don't try this at home. <laughs> Do not try this at home, people. Now, this is what I want you want to say. If your fire gets out of control for you, I always have you like a little uh, bowl of water and you can like shh. But nothing's going on here. We got this all under control, okay? But don't you try this at home. Don't you try this at home. You got to be with a grill master. 
Ah, and look, they're going to slow cook. It's really not going to cook fast at all. But this is a huge chicken breast. And that was another thing. The chicken breasts were um, about 8 or $9 or something like that. It was a big pack. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I feel so bad when I hear about how much people are spending on um, meats and stuff like that. Because that is definitely not happening up here. So anyway. Now. I got some more, but I didn't want to um, touch all that. Now we can go back inside, my people. Oh. And, um, yeah, leave it to the pros. Like, <laughs> ah, if you don't know and don't know, it's almost like you're a car. You know, you know how your car breaks. And, babe, can you open the door for me? How your car responds. So it's easier for you to stop and, you know, know when to stop and this, that, the other. I feel like it's kind of like the same thing with your grill. You need to know your grill. You need to know the fire. Now, um, I probably do need to wipe this off now. Ah, there you go. Wait a minute. Who did I miss? Hey, Lala. How are you doing? La, 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 la. La, 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 la. La, 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 But anyway, I just found out maybe like, well, let me not say just. I found out that, oh man, y'all I done forgot. Girl, she's an actress. Isn't she an actress? Is Minnie Rippleton's daughter? <laughs> I was like, get out of here. Let me see if where my tongues are. This is what you use to turn your meat, okay? Don't do as I do. Do as I say. <laughs> oh, Lord. I forgot the name of the girl. If someone knows it, drop, drop, drop it in the chat. She's an actress, I believe, and that's Minnie Rippleton's daughter. My husband has introduced me to this Celsius Live Fit Sparkling something, Essential Energy Acceleration Metabolism Burns Body Fat. Child, I don't, I don't know if it's doing any of that. It just tastes sweet, you know. Yeah, she plays on Saturday Night Live a lot. Yeah! What's her name? <laughs> Tell me. Yep, that's it. That. The the hundred the hundred thousand dollars go to Erica. Bam, that girl is good. Go ahead, Erica. But we're gonna give second place to EJ because EJ was right there. You know what I'm saying? Because at least she like placed her. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Okay, so um, we're going to put rice in the rice cooker. Now this is the thing. Hey, Gina, Gina, how are you doing? Hey, Nikki, how are you doing? We're gonna put rice in the rice cooker. Some people are like, I don't want a rice cooker. You may not need a rice cooker. Things and you want to free up space off of the stove. And also in a situation like this where I am cooking, prepping, got stuff on the grill and I want to set it and forget it, but I don't have room for any error. I need my rice to be perfect because it is a chicken bowl. And one of the main parts of your chicken bowl is your rice. Pick it up. Hey, Tammy, how are you doing? So let's go and check um, our chicken really quick. And then we're going to um, get in here and start prepping. We're going to, uh-oh. We're going to, um, I'll put this down for you. Can y'all see that? I want y'all to see that. Now, on this one, where you see there's a lot of dark right there, that's fat. That's getting cut off. I left some fat on there, but I already knew that I wasn't 
Yeah, that fat is really cool. Oh, Jesus, this is juicy. Sorry. Yeah. I'm gonna move these over. And the middle part of my grill is extremely hot, so I'm gonna move these to the side. This one's like, damn. You know, let's see. Oh my, look at that. Huh. We're gonna leave it right there, okay? Yeah, so that fat is gonna come off because I'm not, but all of this is gonna get chopped up so it can go inside of your bowl. Now, do you have to do it in a bowl? In a, um, do you have to use chicken? No. Are there some alternatives to having to grill it? Of course. But what I'm trying to do is with this flavor and this um, um, marinade that I put on it, it's going to add a certain flavor. So since I'm going to be in the inside with no one, the man that's on the outside, I'm just going to move it all over to the side. I'm going to let it sit. I'm going to put my tongs up there. And we're going to go back in the kitchen because we have guacamole to make. Man, there are spiders everywhere, I promise you. I mean, I used to be like trying to kill spiders all the time. But if they're near my garden, then guess what? They're not getting killed. Them, them spiders are welcome. I'm like, get all them pests, honey, because... Whew, oh, that fire, it's already hot outside. What I did want to share with you is we are going to, um, when I have the boys come in Sunday and they're going to sample the jalapenos that I made because that's also going to be able to be used for our um, meal. I have these avocados that I'm going to use for the homemade guacamole and they are soft. I mean, they really have give. And so I'm going to show you how I'm going to cut those up. I also have um, lime, Vidalia, Vidalia onions. Um, oh, let me go over here to the basket. Do y'all want a sneak peek at one of the centerpieces that I made for my dad's wedding? I got this out of my... Um, um out of well i harvested in the video that i did well no i think sunday harvested y'all want to see a sneak peek y'all want to see a sneak peek of um, one of the centerpieces i'm gonna do it really quick are y'all ready give me a thumbs up if you're ready are you ready are you ready are you ready <laughs> give me a thumbs up if you're ready Okay, because y'all know that I, in my former life, I did event planning. So, part of making an event beautiful is how you decorate. But you can ball on a budget, honey. Ball on a budget. And I'm going to show you what I came up with. Thank you, Nikki. Pick a boo. There you go. Centerpiece. So they're called hula hoop or ring centerpieces. I've never done it before. That was my first time making them. Hey, diversity, love, L O V E U. Mm. You. Hello, B E U. All right, Tammy, but well, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you. Please do come back. And before you leave, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me. So, um, yeah, but a centerpiece can make something very simple and plain become beautiful. So, those are rings. I got some flowers. I have a hot glue gun. What in the world? Ah, I'm the stanky, stanky. Oh, you the stanky lady. Mm, mm. Oh, okay. What do you want? What do you want to say to the people? Hello, people. Wait. You know, I got a, a shouty. A shouty. Because I got to check on my chicken. 
Yeah, I was. That's why I was coming in here. I know you don't want me to check your chicken. It's gonna be burnt. But uh, what's going on, guys? So when I did this, nothing to do about her channel. I'm sorry. It may be rude. When I did my premiere, some reason it said it had an age restriction, and I didn't know how to take it off or whatever. So I don't know if you guys seen that. So, but how y'all been? What's going on, Nikki? This is. This is always hard for me to see. Ruth, what's going on? Yeah, my wife be dancing for no reason and singing and all that stuff. Okay. For no reason. Whatever. But it's cool. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. Her chicken's burning on the grill. And I know Sunday watches me instead of my chicken. I watch a chicken. What are you making? Rice bowls. I'm in your way. I just came in here. I'm sorry. She hit the flow. Next thing you know, so they got low, 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 low. Hey, low, hey they low, gonna put a restriction low. on this video too. Oh, you better oh. stop. <laughs> you put that restriction on no, your own video. I don't know how I would get that. Oh, Ruth in the garden. She's entertaining. That face. Same. <laughs> yes. Hey, GT. What's up, my brother from another? Brother GT in there? Yes. What's Hello, going on, just GT? Ocean. She hit the floor. Next thing you know, shorty got low, 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 low. Oh, y'all see I got the side ponytail, right? Why All right, guys, so um, <laughs> we're just going to go outside. <laughs> no, <I'm> just play. <laughs> see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, y'all see that side? You see this? I can't hold this like she do. You see that side <laughs> ponytail, shorty? Shout it, shout it. I only have this because my husband kept bringing it up, so I said, I never knew he liked the side ponytail. So. Nah, that side ponytail come with an attitude. That's what I was trying to say, but she, you know, the attitude on the way. My hand is. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. She's sleepy. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> we're getting back to the main thing, and we're gonna keep the main thing the main thing. Y'all did not come here to be entertained. Well, you know how you could get her started real quick. Well, I guess you didn't know that. Ebony eyes, I love you. Okay, I'm gonna stop saying. Get on tape, but. And I bet you didn't know that girl, you didn't know that I need you right now, baby. Like that. <laughs> and I bet you didn't know that Ebony eyes. Yes. Whew. All right, y'all, I'm sorry. But I'm not sorry. It's my channel and I wanna see. I got a reason to sing and be happy because ain't nobody going to steal my joy because the Lord gave it to me and nobody going to take it away. Huh. Okay, so I have this rice cooker. This is before I was a friend of Amazon, but now y'all know I'm an Amazon um, associate. Go to justdorsha.com. Go to... The page that says shops, everything is a verb. Dorsha inspires, Dorsha serves, Dorsha rides, Dorsha cooks, Dorsha shops. And guess what you're going to find on there? You're going to find my Amazon links. Click on them bad boys. Help us out. You know what I'm saying? I'm sharing because sharing is caring. Hallelujah. Michelle, what's going on? Hi, Nick and Dorsha. I'm going to give y'all a pass for the dance and not the hallelujah as we need that. <laughs> Hey, we's married. We gets to do our dance. 
do your dance. Mm. Okay. Don't know if you want a rice cooker, but if you get a rice cooker. Now this one is old. They probably got something else out there, okay? Because I've had this for a while. But the most important part that I want to share with you is this one, which is very basic. I'm sure I got it for sale because I balls on the budget. You click on white rice, brown rice, and then you can also steam. You can steam your vegetables using this while your rice cooks. Okay? Set it and forget it. The other thing I wanted to share is on the inside. I don't know if y'all can see that. It tells you the little lines. Those are cups. So if I wanted to do two cups of rice, I would actually fill the line to where it says two cups. If I wanted to do four cups, and it, it actually has it um, even numbers, okay? That are on one side and then the odd numbers on the other side. So I just wanted to share that with you, okay? So for our point, I'm going to fill this up to, hmm, hmm, well we have, I'm gonna do three cups. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna do, hmm, I'm gonna do two cups. So I'm gonna fill this up, two cups. I always do just a little bit more water. I don't do perfectly yet too. Now, this part right here that I'm about to discuss with you, this is optional, but I'm not going to do it today. If you want to take um, some of the starch off of the rice, rinse it first. But I'm not going to do that because I don't care for this particular dish. Now, there are some dishes that I would care that the extra starch was off, but this is just not going to be one of those. So, one cup. Now, I am going to stir this so that it is even at the bottom and you need that to be the case. Don't just dump, dump it in there. Uh, make sure there's no lumps. I'm going to take a line. I'm over here sweating, honey. I'm going to take a grater and I'm going to take the, the zest of a line and I'm going to put it in my rice because I want more of a lime rice with hints of lime in it, okay? Even my grater has salt. come from that's what I'm thinking that my grader is saying to me <laughs> uh, you can do as much as you want to as a little and of course as always <laughs> you do not have to do this okay now yes these were rinsed and they've been sitting there waiting on me for this purpose but I'm actually using the lime juice and no I'm not putting lime juice in the rice but I'm using the lime juice for the um, guacamole that we're gonna make. Yes, people. And that's enough. All right. There you go. I'm going to close it. I'm gonna lift you back up. And Sunday's back in here. And I'm gonna take this over to the other counter. You know why I'm back in here? What, the chicken? Yes. So y'all know y'all got to comment certain times in the chat to remind her what's going on around her. I remember the chicken is out loud. <laughs> but I need something to put it in. Oh. I'm going to take one of my dishes. We're going to go outside, people. Some of the chicken should be ready. I'm ready to love you. Now look now. 
I'm gonna love you forevermore. I've never seen anyone use lime zest and rice. It sounds amazing. Use an antil. Use it, girl. Oh, that's TT. Yes. Hey, TT. Right. Here's mm. brown skin girl. Yes. Oh, where are my gloves? I don't know. Can you give me my gloves? What do you mean your gloves? My um cooking gloves. I didn't know you had gloves. Not you know my um silicone gloves. Let's see. This one is definitely ready. I do want it to be a little more dark skin, but it's okay. <laughs> Oh, it's such a good flavor. Mmm. Mmm, you can really smell that. I'm telling you. Let's do a little sample. Don't tell anybody. Hey, Ram. Hey, Green Hands. How you doing? Let's, let's sample, because we got to make sure. You know what I'm saying? Now, don't tell him what we're doing, though. Okay? Don't say don't say what. Okay, honey, why don't you sample this for us? It's hot. No, I'm not. It's right up now. Uh -huh. Is it too hot? It's hot. Mmm. Mmm, I promise you. I learned a few new twists on dishes since I started watching. Very grateful. Oh, thank you, Ruth. I appreciate you. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> I'm trying to get my mind right. Okay. I'm trying to get my mind right. So, honey, I promise you. That right there. Look, and when you make chicken, you know good and well. Ain't nothing, there's no medium well. No, it's well done. I'm good, Dorsha, watching the chef at work. I ain't a chef, but I'll cook you a meal. I promise you. I have real respect for, you know, real chefs and everything. But let me tell you something. There are some people on, thank you, Ruth, that are on um, IG. They are male cooks, not chefs. They just cook. One guy, he's actually a soldier. He can cook. You hear me? He looks like he's maybe in his late 20s, early 30s or something. That brother is bad in the kitchen. You know what I mean? Um, dang, I'm trying to remember his name. It's not that one. One Stop Shop. Go to his um, Instagram. Oh my goodness. He is phenomenal. And then Eat. I think it's Eat So or Eat With So or I, I can't remember the other guy's name. It's not as Eat Something. But One Stop Chop. He is amazing. But the other one guy, he is great too. Like, he has even more followers than him. Because I think the one I'm telling you to go and see, he has like 600,000 followers. The other one has like over a million. But both of these brothers, they can really throw down in the kitchen. Now, I, hey, Audrey, how are you doing? You face tell it when the food is good and you ain't spitting it. <laughs> um, only critique as a woman to the men is that they make a lot of food that is just straight up carbs and meat and not a lot of vegetables at all of that part but you know that's the only critique it's not even critique because you know i don't really criticize anyone tear it down i would just really like to see them add some more vegetables and to you know things and sometimes you know i learned how to cook from my dad so i can't say that all men are like that way but I know a lot of men in general are like um, carnivores. 
Yes, that big old thick um, chicken breast is done, y'all. It's a wrap. I'm gonna take my little chicken in here. Mmm, honey. Woo! That's why I got these gloves. Babe, can you open up the door for me? I can't get back in the house. <laughs> I can't get back in the house. I've fallen and I can't get up. Mm. Let y'all see that. Mm -hmm. Um, a mosquito just bit me. I felt it. I mean, literally, a mosquito just bit me. Ooh, honey. I get on my brother about not. <laughs> yeah. That's the only thing. It's like, mm, no veggies. <laughs> and, uh, and this is not a dick. This is the thing. Men who are more prone to have prostate cancer, colon cancer, well, really, the colon cancer. Let me take away the prostate, because that's something else that's going on. Which, you know, if you're married. Anyway, I'm just going to mind my business. But anyway, colon cancer. Uh, keep your colon clean and, you know, these vegetables and stuff. <laughs> they help move stuff. Move. You need movement. Now, this is the thing, because, you know, guys can say, well, I have bowel movements, and I blah, 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 blah. There's still just certain nutrients that you need from, um, you know, vegetables, period. We all do. Guava family, guava. This is not alcohol. What y'all talking about? Hey, soil family, this is a great virtual community. Yes. I've been cooking from, I'm eight, so I can throw down nothing like home-cooked meal. And the women in my family have been teaching me for ages now. That's how my dad learned how to cook, the women in his family. <laughs> I love my vegetables always. Go ahead, green pan. Yes, Ruth, they need that roughage. And, you know... This is the thing, when you're growing up and you're in school, you get, you get some information, but it's not properly, you know, taught across the board. Like, you know, when you're in elementary, they say a potato and corn, you know, that's, those are vegetables. Well, yeah, technically, yeah, they are vegetables, whatever. But when we're saying that for a meal, you need to have protein, a vegetable and a starch well somebody could say well i'm having corn that's my vegetable and i'm having potato and that's another vegetable and then some people know that that's a starch but really it's like both of them are right <laughs> no when they talking about vegetable they mean like something green and leafy <laughs> green and leafy now of course you know we can do the root vegetables and stuff like that but roughage roughage Anyway, rough edge will do your body good. Okay, so what should we start first? Oh, that's what would happen. <laughs> the last time I was before y'all, I got sidetracked in what I was saying, and I went somewhere else, and I was trying to explain why I wasn't having bread with the pasta um, dish that I had made. And it was very simple, because many, a couple years ago, I learned that that's not a good practice that we have as Americans to have bread and pasta together, although it tastes very good. But really, that's having a starch on top of a starch. It creates bloatiness and, you know, whew, yes. So, if anyone, um, you know, has a family history of high cholesterol, uh, you may be borderline high cholesterol, whatever. I would recommend, number one, you limit your starches. But number two, do not do a starch on top of a starch. Yeah, I'm going to have me spaghetti, but I'm going to have me some garlic bread. I mean, you know, it's just, you know, you know, you can raise it that way. You know, I was raised in the South, so we, we have bread with everything. You know, every meal. Is but you have to know your family history. Um, some things that we do, they're cultural, 
But just because it's cultural don't mean necessary that it is the best thing. And I'm not saying that, okay, you go to a restaurant, you can't splurge every now and then. But to say that I have to have bread with every meal, no, you don't have to. It's just that that has become a practice and a habit in order to grow from that. You just relearn. You unlearn and then relearn. So, you know, a lot of the things we do to ourselves. I mean, it's all of us. It's like no one's immune to it. Every time we eat something, we're either we're either eating life or we're eating death. I mean, there ain't no really no in between. So, <laughs> oh, that's why I'm like, Lord, I gotta grow me some stevia, cause honey, oh, the Lord knows how to love sugar. Thank God I ain't diabetic, better, but I'm just saying, this stuff be real. You just never know. So many people I know, pre-diabetic, this, that, the other, or diabetic, whatever, in their 40s, in their 30s, this, that, the other. And then some of it really don't have anything necessary to do with them. They are have a predisposition to certain illnesses and diseases and stuff. And you just need to know what's in your bloodline, even though your family history. So then, hey, you can make smart choices because God want, wants us to live and not die. And then there is the part of God that dwells on the inside of us who are believers called the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit would be like, no, no. You know you don't, and you be like, no, I, I want it. <laughs> you know, because the flesh is strong. Yeah, but we got to make the spirit strong, make the flesh weak. So anyway, um, let's get to um, this guacamole. Oh, but of course you're not giving medical advice. Of course not. People. <laughs> but it's advice that you can get right off on the internet. And um, medical doctor could also tell you that as well. And a nutritionist. Um, many healthcare companies, especially like ours, Blue Cross Blue Shield. Now you can get a wellness, a wellness coach, dietitians. It's all included, a part of your um, insurance. And Lord knows that insurance is very expensive. Stevia, how to make sugar? I stay away from white sugar about the spirit <laughs> yeah white sugar can be a killer and i'm telling you some people got a lot of addictions whatever uh, white sugar probably be like right there with me now thank god i can fast so i can turn down my plate completely i think the longest fast i've ever done and i've done it several times is 30 days no food but it takes a lot of discipline to um fast so let's talk about this um, nope. I just saw a documentary. Uh oh, okay. Please share diversity love. We're all about growing together. We love to grow together. Um, let's come down here. Now, um, these were softer than the Haas ones. And, and I do get the other ones, the smaller ones, the Haas ones, and they're small and everything. And I really like them. However, sometimes the ones that are in the stores are so hard. But usually when I get these big, the green ones, um, and that's what they label them in the store. Yes, exactly. Well, you're not really supposed to go around telling people that you're fasting. So it's not like I'm fasting right now. But if I was doing 30 day fast, the only people that would know would be my family members because then they know that's why I'm not cooking. No, that's, and please don't make any plans for me. <laughs> Anything revolving around food. But when you are fasting, you realize how much of your life is built around food. Oh my goodness. And you'll look at commercials. Oh my goodness. And then you'll want stuff that you normally wouldn't even need. That just comes off so easy. This comes off so easy, people. I wish we lived in a climate that was conducive to growing avocados. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm gonna take this, cause I'm actually gonna put this in my um, blender. That's like a food processor. Cause remember I told you, there's something going on with the food processor. And I'm gonna have to do something before Thanksgiving because let me tell you something, I do not like having to cut up the celery, the bell pepper, the onion and stuff. And you don't get a, um, a reward from your family just because you cut that stuff up by hand. So, hey, mm -mm. I'm fine. I don't want any of that little seed part in there. Uh, those are the best avocados. We call them pears. Is that what you call them? Yeah, in, in public, they just say green. I don't even know why they call them green. I mean, it looked like a lime green to me. Uh, life. Live life more abundantly. Yes. Let's see what's going on with this one. Well, it peels easy. I can tell you that much. Very easy. I mean, it's just coming off. Does anyone like avocado um, toast? Anyone ever had avocado toast? My sons were telling me about it. They experiment a lot. They have um, very palates. So they um, had it before. I went to, uh, I think I may have gotten it from Panera Bread. I wasn't oohed and awed by it. I'm just being honest. No offense, Panera, okay? But uh, yeah, I wasn't impressed. But I did see a recipe online and I made it, tweaked it a little bit. And guess what? <laughs> it was delicious. I was like, yes. So, if you have any issues with cholesterol, then avocado is a healthy choice for you. Avocado is a healthy choice for you. Now, don't take my word for it. Go and look. <laughs> it's right there on the internet. Yep. I just want to cut up just a little bit because it's going to go into this um, food processor. Well, the blender food processor. And I'm so glad I have this part of the blender that is the um, food processor part because I would just be... Now, you can mash this up um, with a, a masher like you would do your, um, you know, to make, I mean, potatoes, mashed potatoes. But... Um, I want to get it to a certain consistency though. Look, I'm telling you, they call them green. Honey, doesn't this look like this is straight up like yellow or something? <laughs> Let me get one of my handy dandy bags so I can put this in. Now, the smaller ones are uh, greener. I have to tell you that. Y'all know I like to reuse these bags to put all of my um, trash. Now, if we had a compost pile like we used to, which of course we never got to use the benefits of it because we didn't have it long enough to start using it. So basically it just became an outdoor heap of um, scraps and stuff, but we never got a chance to use ours. So hopefully whoever moved into the house if they even know what a compost pile is. <laughs> they have it now, honey. They have it now. For those who are tuning in right now, we are making chicken bowls um, similar to that of Chipotle. We will, for dessert, we're going to make snickerdoodle cookies. Um, last week, um, Sharif wanted a uh, dump cake, so we did peaches and blueberry. Amir wants snickerdoodle cookies and ice cream. I said that I can make homemade ice cream, no charms. Like he said, he didn't want me to have to go through all that, so. Um, yeah. So, let me sit this to the side and let's uh, chop up this onion because I'm actually going to throw the onion in there too. I want the onion to be very fine because I don't like, um, well, we have 
two people in here that don't like, uh, what do you say? I like it plain with a little garlic salt. Hmm. But I don't eat my avocado plain. I mix it with salsa. Okay. Love avocado toast. Love avocado. Yes, love avocado toast. The best. Okay. So. Let me use this one. I, I don't need all of this. But as I was sharing with you. Um, now you can use red um, onions as well, but uh, I'm going to stick to this and make sure you check the layering in your onion. Anything that does not look right, honey, cut it out. There you go. Um, but... Oh, you know what? Thank you, Felicia. Yeah, let me go and get some of that um, elephant garlic. All I need. Anyone ever grown elephant garlic? If you have, please let me know. Had to slip out in water. Um, Jay. Hey, Jay. How are you doing? Oh, there's my soil sister. Anyone ever grown elephant garlic? Yeah, so Nick and Amir don't like raw onion, but Amir, in general, he doesn't really like onion, period. Um, don't mind onion powder or onion salt. I really don't do onion salt, though. But he really just doesn't like it. And if he sees onion in the food, he will start picking. And he's really not a fan of bell peppers. Um, he'll start picking, but he's done an excellent job since he's been back home for the summer. Both of the boys, this is their last, um, sun, um, Sunday supper with us. They both move into their places, um, next Saturday. So, oh, y'all stretch y'all hands. Okay. Y'all stretch y'all hands. Oh, Nikki, drop the link to your video of you growing, um, Elephant garlic. I want to know about that. Let me see. What does this go to? Uh-oh. We don't want that. I lost my light. This one. Okay. Peek-a-boo. Oh, the world. Oh, oh, this one. It says it's off. No, oh, okay. Y'all. I'm grateful, sister. All right. Now, before I add this, I'm gonna add these. Now nah, I'll just go ahead and do it all together. Ooh, honey, drop that link because I want to know something about elephant garlic. And I was thinking about perhaps dropping a couple of cloves in my garden. I am so obsessed about not experiencing the vine borders again because that was. That was traumatic for me. Thank God that my Brussels sprouts, they, they I mean, those, those were beautiful. They, that, that was a beautiful experience growing those Brussels sprouts. Because, you know, your girl was about to give up on gardening all together. But then the Brussels sprouts and my cabbage, this Savoy cabbage, honey, came through and saved me. <clears throat> uh. Thing. Ah, so much. Hunty, I promise you, it is a lot in there already soft, so. And I need something to put it in. Let me get a little towel. I love having these type of towels in the kitchen. I have a few videos, one showing me planting it, probably show an update and some random videos, and then I have a harvest video. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna need you to do. I'm gonna need you to do some editing and put all that in one video. <laughs> Do 
some editing, Nikki, and put it all in one video. Thank you. We appreciate you. Um, now, you could just leave the um, onion the way that I just had it because I do have it diced finely. But um, for all intents and purposes, because of the people who don't really like the other one, I'm not going to do that. Now, these are huge. Look at this. You see that? <laughs> this is huge. But every now and then and again, look what they have. One that's more reasonable, honey, because um, that's another thing. Garlic is potent, honey. And this outer skin for this elephant garlic, I mean, it is very hard. I'm just wondering, can I drop this in the dirt? Will it? I guess any of them, right? It should sprout. Mmm. And it's hard. Let me start with this first before I get deep into this. Mmm. It smells so good. I know there are people who don't like garlic. I don't know if there was a time I ever didn't like it, but I know what I don't like is smelling garlic on someone's breath. Ugh. That's a bit much. And I used to have a co-worker back in the day. This was over maybe 20 years ago. Honey, Ooh. <laughs> the garlic breath. I can't, honey. <laughs> oh, drop those cloves four to six inches down into some soil and, and set it and forget it, harvest in the spring. Oh, yes. Um, so what about, thank you, Ray of Sunshine, yes. Tell you what, when I plant more this fall, I'll do it. Girl, you got that footage, come on now. <laughs> have to use a food processor like I said normally I would do I would just mash it and it can be a chunky um, guacamole however given that Amir doesn't like the onions I want to make sure it's of a certain consistency and I need another one of those bags but look at this straight out of the garden isn't that a pretty tomato I'm gonna use that another bag Now, you are going to use some salt and some pepper. You're going to use some um, lime juice. And I'm going to move this out of the way. Yes, honey. Hello. I can't watch you work. But yeah, I just thought you wanted something. You wanted to make a public service announcement. I was about to make a joke, but I left it alone. Okay, they're listening. <laughs> it, it wasn't fun. Okay. <laughs> Look at this beautiful ripe tomato. That's a Georgia tomato. He said it's a Georgia tomato. It's not. I was going off the shape. Uh, anyway, see? You see what's happening? Now, this is the thing. 
I like the tomato to be a little firm going into like a um, salsa so it's not too watery. And some people strain them to get rid of that extra water, wateriness, if that's a word. You understand what I'm saying? Like right now would be that time. Yep, yep. And I just did it lightly. You see all of that that's still left down there? Mm. So let me bring this up so we can sample this. Homegrown tomatoes. The garden are everything. Yes. So I want um Sunday to be able to taste this. And I will taste it. And I'm gonna get a little kosher salt and some pepper. Some of this kosher salt, and I have some pepper. I'm gonna add some of this to the um, guacamole. But um, come on, honey. Hmm, that's not. Huh? Come here. No, that's enough. So. Right. I want to taste it by itself. Mmm. 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 Here you go. Do Cause it's dripping. I'm trying not to get it on my shirt. Mm -hmm. You don't understand what it's like having all this up here. I don't. I really don't. <coughs> Bless you. All that salt and pepper. What's that? Walk them over. So, how was it? The tomato. Isn't it juicy? Yeah, I wanted to um make a sandwich with it. But I think it's going to be great the way it's being utilized at this particular moment. He loves the word utilize. Utilize. Well here, have I say some that more. A lot. I don't know. Yes. No. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. It was so good. It's so juicy. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness. People. Mmm. Mmm. I'm getting ready to put some lime juice <laughs> in the yellow guacamole. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm. And then we'll let it sit in the refrigerator. Uh, let's see what it tastes like. We need a little bit more lime juice. You see he's mocking me, right? No, I'm not. Okay, what are you doing? I'm utilizing my time. <laughs> okay. And the last part to add to our guacamole. Who knows what this is? <laughs> it is not an upside down smiley face. <laughs> what is this? Some people say it tastes like soap. Yeah. Yes! Yes! A million dollars for Jack. <laughs> I think Nikki don't like cilantro. I think Nikki, you say it tastes like soap. I think uh, TT and Dale say it tastes like soap. It's a few people. Um, Aunt Linda doesn't like it. Yeah, it's a few. Yeah. It has a pungent taste. I smell it. But I do like it in the guacamole. Outside of that, I don't know what's another thing I would really want to use it for. <laughs> I can't see what Nikki said. Nikki said, Humphrey, I won the elephant garlic over the Indiana backyard. Oh, we read, um, read, read mail. Low veg. What's low veg? Love it. You love it. 
Nikki says she loves Oh, I'm sorry, Nikki. Well, I'm, I'm up here acting like I know you. <laughs> you must not know about me. You must not know. Oh, okay. I can eat some lunch in a minute. Baby. <laughs> oh, let me bring y'all down so y'all can see what's going on in there. Want some lunch? <laughs> Messing around with Sunday. So, Andell, is it true that you don't like cilantro? I'm not feeling that much. I don't know. I'm nervous it. now. I got Nikki wrong. I don't need that much of it. But you can garnish your rice bowl with it, but I'm, I'm not. It's a lot. Great with tacos. Hey! Yes. 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 We're going to put this in the refrigerator. Let me go finish off. Let me taste it. Mmm. Mmm. A little bit. You know what? It makes sense. Why is my um salt like that? Mm. So my wife would do all this and she'd be cooking and stuff. You know, some a lot of times I don't be paying attention. So, but as I'm paying attention now, I see why she don't be, when it's time to eat, she be like, she's not hungry, she's not eating. Because she be tasting this stuff as she go. No, that's not the norm. Oh. Okay. It's just that with this, you have to taste it because you don't know. I stand corrected. Mm. Y'all, this, um, these avocados, which I have rarely ever tasted a sweet avocado, but an avocado is a fruit. This is sweet. This is literally sweet avocado. I, I just, I, this is just blowing me away. I didn't add any sugar to this, but I got a sweetness to it. Mm hmm But I am going to put some more lime juice, though. I need a little bit more lime. Woo, honey, these things really do work. And then we're going to put it in the refrigerator, set it and forget it. I have never, and you know, tomatoes are fruit, right? Mmm. 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 That is the weirdest thing. Mmm. Let me put the rest of the tomato in here. Yeah, my dad, he would eat um, tomato sandwiches, you know, with just the mayonnaise, salt and pepper, tomato sandwiches. Mm-hmm. Mm. We're gonna put this in the refrigerator. Let it farm up some. Let's move on to the next thing. Let me clean my counter. Do you taste the butter flavor? Yeah, it's like, I don't know. This is different than the ones I've had before of this same variety. Of course, this does taste different than the Haas, but it is, that's interesting. That's all I can say. But I mean, it's not bad. I just, I've just never experienced that before. That is so interesting. I don't have another word to describe it. <laughs> it's like when you're accustomed to eating something and then all of a sudden you taste it and you're expecting one thing, but then you taste something else. Mm, let me get this out the way. And this is the thing. I remember I grew some of this last year and i was like why I, it was just a waste of my dirt because i don't even use it on a regular basis like that so but i i, I just need it out of my weight right now <laughs> let me take you over here so you can see the rice um i think those are milder and a bit less creamy and hot seem nutty to me yeah definitely nutty to me but the ones that were at the grocery store, they were just so hard. Um, 
it's it's done. It's just perfect. And I'm gonna just put it on warm. Normally, you know, it'll go off itself. But it's technology and it may not. So um, let me do a little cleaning. I want to put my onion. Uh, I think I'll put my onion in here. I know, right? Someone gave me spicy mac and cheese was not expecting the spice. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like one time I went to a little cookout and I literally had a taste for um, potato salad. And there's a certain way I like my potato salad. And it's just probably because, you know, it's the way that my dad taught me how to make it. And, you know, because that's the way he taught me to make it. That's what I like. Not saying that I haven't experimented with different types, which I have. Um, like, he doesn't do the, the red one. I'm trying to wipe it off, make sure it's clear. But I have done that one and added Old Bay seasoning and all this kind of stuff. But this was just supposed to be regular um, potato salad and I'm expecting it to look um, yellow and it was green green potato salad she got happy with some parsley I don't put parsley in my potato salad um, it can garnish the top with some paprika but honey do you think I ate that green potato salad mm -mm. I, I couldn't you ready to sample? Sure. Where's the banana peppers? Oh, those take 10 days. So, Sunday Backyard Farmer, Amir, and, <laughs> and Sharif are ready to sample the jalapenos. Yeah. Yeah, he's supposed to come down here. Uh, no. Can y'all see me clearly? Or it does it look cloudy or something? We're gonna go through our chicken bowl. We're about to finish the chicken bowl. Is it me or do I really look um cloudy? Let me see. Does that look better? No. No, it doesn't look better? Or no, the green potato salad. <laughs> Honey. Or is it the light behind me that's glaring? Is that it? Anyway. All right, y'all. I'm trying to make this wide enough so the whole family can get in here. And they are going to sample Ooh, jalapenos. the jalapenos that I made. And uh, yeah, we're gonna make it do what it do. People. Live for you right now with cooking. Live family review. Family review. Okay, well, I need y'all to come over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh God, when I just laugh, I heard my husband make fun of me. He says I sound like SpongeBob. Hey, oh, how y'all doing, everybody? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you see the handsome one? That's me. I don't know who that person is over there. Who does it look like Chipotle? This is Chipotle. This mom's Chipotle. It's cooking with Dorset. Yeah. Okay, so everyone's familiar with everyone. Are they are taller than me, so. Yes, my mother is the shortest in the family. Okay, honey, can you put that down oh, or no. something? Uh, look, yeah, because I'm going to get my own fork. Okay. I'm, I'm not feeding and I'm handing no. them so they can okay. put it in their own hand. There you go. I'm gonna put them right here. Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. Uh, let me get you a small one. Feed me, Simo. No, Here you go. What the dum 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 dum? Say hey, young man. A rose among the thorn thorns. <laughs> That's me. Oh, thank you. Pete. All right. <laughs> okay. One, Ooh, five, four. I felt the thorn. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, <laughs> one. Needs more pickle. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, they got a kick to it. What is this? You see, our mother is not really the one with the with the hot aspect. 
is sad, but you know. No, I don't like hot. Well, they both don't like hot. The only reason I'm not reacting the way I did because I got her on camera on my video <clears throat> reacting. So I'm trying to be. On a scale one out of ten, I give it like a. Sweet, you know what I mean? Yeah, I it give tastes, it. A... It tastes sweet initially, <clears throat> and then fire and desire. Ooh, you can hit that high note. <clears throat> Okay, so Amir, on a scale nine out of ten. from one to nine ten, ten, how <laughs> spicy is it? Nine out of ten. Oh. Nine out of ten spicy? I mean, I mean, it's not spicy where I'm gonna be like her, but it's spicy where it's good for me. It's still it's spicy, so you can still enjoy. Spicy it. compared to the store bought jalapeno. Oh, they both equivalent. No, no, it's spicy. In the store nah, it's it's jalapeno. hitting harder than the store. I mean, this is real. I mean, you know how they have the mild jalapenos in the store. I already had an extra one. Yeah. But they are still good though. They really bang. I would put those these jalapenos more in my uh, uh, food than the sore ones if they were kept growing at a consistent rate. You know what I'm saying? Which they are. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That. Mm -hmm. I'll take the last one. Then. Is is that hot for you, for real? It's not that hot. As I said, my mother has a very she hot. But I like hot jalapenos, stuff. but these are hotter than the store ones. <laughs> See, they're real jalapenos. <clears throat> yeah, those are real jalapenos. I mean, they're real jalapenos. <laughs> The store. I the stores were genetically modified. Those are those uh, rat, rat, rat jalapenos. Rat jalapenos. His dark green jalapenos are actually really spicy. <laughs> rat jalapenos. Yeah. Y'all want some rat jalapenos at the store? It's not that spicy, though. Three dollars. It's not like habanero. <clears throat> habanero is. Are you done with your test subjects? Yeah. Yeah, what's your answer? <sighs> okay. We had a late breakfast. Y'all are really oh, pressing me. I mean, <sighs> I'm gonna say the phone. So, this is my thing. It's like. It starts off sweet, so then I'm chewing, and the next thing you know, it's like, how? So this is a Dorsha pepper, because she starts out sweet, and then once you get to know... <laughs> Buyer it's, it's, beware. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's good, though. And I don't like hot stuff, and it's still hot, can't, 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 but can't, I can, I would eat it. Can you give me a root beer? Uh, uh, give me the pineapple juice. <sighs> you don't want no milk? You don't want no half and half? <clears throat> you don't want no... Oh, I need that for my, um... You don't want the milk? Cold milk? cream group, um... Half and half? Yeah, she made the little thing that you make now. What happened? Not, not with the half and half. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> I'm burning, like, all right here. Like, my mouth is burning. Did you miss your mouth? Like, did you get stuff on you? Evidently, cause all oh, oh, right, oh, it's burning. <laughs> so yes. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, people. Church was awesome. It was absolutely awesome. Hey, TV, how you doing? And that was an excellent question. Um, Bishop Brown talked about transcending into peace. Watch Sunday Backyard Farmer. What you talking about, Will? Is you? <laughs> said that. Ruth. Ruth. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's hot, y'all. I'm not even going. I like. I like hot. Um, I'm just surprised that that was um, that hot for you. I mean, it was hot. It was yeah. hotter than what I thought, but I I didn't know. It was. There's definitely a difference between that and the. Um, What it is? The store bought ones. I tell you that. Now, I'm going to. Guys, which one do you want? Do you want black beans or do you want pink beans? I might make an executive decision. It is hot. All, all of this inside of my mouth is on fire. <clears throat> do you want black beans? Me? Or do you want pink beans? Black. Black. So I'm not going to give them a choice. We're just going to go with black because that's what the man in the house wants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can do pinto beans, whatever. We're going to do black. We're going to add some sofrito with the black. And we're also going to add... 
which I thought I had one already open, which I do. I'm gonna put this on the stove. We're gonna add some saison. Oh, do I have it upside down? Yes. We're gonna add some saison and sofrito in our black beans. <clears throat> We're gonna put that on the um, stove and let that simmer. It's also going to go inside of our, um, whew, my mouth is just, all of this right here is some fire roasted corn blend. No preservatives added in this and non-GMO and this also has sea salt in it. But yeah, we're going to put that in there. <clears throat> we're going to add Mexican blend cheese. You saw the jalapenos. I got some um, sour cream Walmart. Holla at your girl. I don't feel like making salsa. But if you want to make your own salsa, do. <laughs> and I have a head of romaine lettuce. Now, when I normally, when we go to Chipotle, like, yeah, I was going to do the milk. I decided not to do the milk because I've been... Um, I only have a little bit of milk left, and there's a certain little coffee, cold coffee drink that I use, um, the milk in. So, uh, check out my video. <laughs> <clears throat> As many of you know, wow, Dorsha, you only need 50 more subs. Really? Oh, wow. I thought it was like at 940, so maybe I did go up to 950. Let's give the girl a hand. Let's hear from my baby. Oh, okay, anyway. <clears throat> hey, guys, construction. Welcome. We love you. We miss you. Talking to you, God, construction. We miss you. Missing you. Okay. Anyway, it was a song back in the day by Aaron Paul. <clears throat> he had a little twist to the song because the song was like he misses, you know, the girl and all this kind of stuff. So, I mean, that's what you're thinking, right? And, you know, that's what I was thinking. However, he did a little twist, hun. In the song, she ends up dying. Woo, peekaboo. We was not ready for that, hun. Anybody remember that from back in the day? <clears throat> now I'm gonna um put a packet <laughs> of this in here. I really only need half of it though, to tell you the truth. Cause this is a lot. And you know what? I'm gonna do another can. And then I'll take care of that. And then I can use my whole pack because that'll just be a little too overbearing. Yeah, so today in church, Bishop Ronan was talking about transcending and it's how to maintain your peace because peace is an inside job. <clears throat> and one of the first things that he said was when you find yourself being provoked out of your peace. Whether intentionally or non um, intentionally. First thing you need to say is the conversation that you have with self. And that conversation is calm down. Now, if you were having an argument with someone else and you said calm down to that person, we see how well that will work for you. But you cannot control other people, but you, I'm going to do a nice hearty on a teaspoon of this. You can't control other people, but you can control your response and your reaction. So saying calm down to the person in the mirror is more effective 
than saying calm down to the other person. Because once you can gain control over yourself, I'm going to add just a little bit more. I love sofrito. How many people use sofrito when you are cooking? All right, I'm going to put this on the um, stove. The goal is just to... Um, it's just to um, warm it up. <clears throat> the same thing with the corn. We're just warming things. Yes, that's exactly what he said, Sharice. He said, let's see how well that works out for you. <laughs> if you tell someone else to calm down. Sunday telling me, calm down. What do you mean? Calm down. <laughs> no. The best thing you can do is calm yourself down. And then <clears throat> by doing that, he says, we usher peace in. We, we bring it in by bringing it in us. And it's like, you know, don't let your environment influence you. You influence the environment. You shift the environment by what's on the inside of you. You know what I mean? Okay, is there an English version of that? English version of what? So frito? Um, tomato cooking base, green peppers, on, uh, onions, cilantro, garlic, and olive oil. Goya. No, I don't, I don't know about that, but yeah, so frito. And I became acquainted with so frito. Now, you got to put this in the refrigerator when you open it. <clears throat> because one of my... Closest friends, Amir's godmother. Um, there's the corn. She is um, Puerto Rican. And she taught me how to make arroz con pollo, chicken and rice. And on top of it, we will put um, the pink beans. And in that beans is basically what I just showed you that I just did. Except We'll add some um, some type of pork to season the beans. So I'm just making sure my space is clean. It's here. Um, I do have two cans of the corn, but we'll see if we'll need that. This has filled fill my floor. I fill it up, Lord. That was an oldie but goodie. All right, y'all. We are rolling. Nikki, I might have to take you up on that. Would I put something this big <laughs> into the car? Woo, girl, that thing right there is huge. I promise you. Got to check out early. Have a great We love you. We love you, G-Mama. No, I was goofing about y'all. Your little calm down animated moment. <laughs> what is it? Peekaboo. What is what? Oh, uh, sofrito or? Uh, uh. I love the devotional Bishop gave today to. I was home two weeks ago. Didn't get to church, but I seen the first transcend merit uh, message on YouTube. It was great too. Yes, it was awesome. All right, G Mama. Take care. Let me turn this down. Um, yeah. Let me get rid of this cilantro because, honey, I don't want to varnish with it. It's good enough that it's inside of it. The guacamole! Now, <clears throat> Chipotle, if they make you a, a, a bowl, Let's say you, it's called a burrito bowl for those who are not familiar. Make your burrito bowl and you ask for um, the lettuce. They'll normally put it on top, but you can ask for them to put it on the bottom. We're going to have ours on the bottom of our bowls. So everything that is going on is doing what it do. Now we're going to get to these snickerdoodle. I need to make the... the, um, the the dough for the snickerdoodles because it needs to sit in the um, kitchen. I mean, sit in the refrigerator, excuse me, while I, uh, while we eat. And then I can put it in the oven. And then I'll drop cookies. 
I mean, look, <laughs> I'll drop uh, pictures. But what I did want to share with you, and I will put it on my Amazon page, is I got some, for the first time in my life, um, cookie cutters. I have, well, let me not put it like that. I have had cookie cutters before, but I've never just had regular cookie cutters. Now, as a mother um, with children, and I was an at-home mom for seven years. Yeah, I did plenty of bacon, cooking, um, birthday parties, all kind of stuff. But I had, I didn't have regular um, cookie cutters, and these are also biscuit cutters. I got these off of Amazon and I will share the link. But they are co-centric. And I wanted to share this with you because I think it's very neat. I could make a biscuit this big or a cookie. Okay. And look how thick the next size. But you can also do them very small. I just wanted to share that with y'all. Because I will be using cookie cutters today. And when I normally do cookies, I don't do um, cookie cutters. Um, and then for snickerdoodles in particular, I don't. Because what happens with the cookie, uh, the snickerdoodle, you roll it up. Um, in a ball, you put it in the cinnamon and the sugar, and then you can just place the little balls, and then they'll come down and do that, whatever. Which I'll do some of them, but I did want to try it out to see how it would be if I flatten them, and then douse them with the cinnamon sugar mixture and let them cook. So I'll do it both ways. We'll see how it works out, and I'll share it with you. Let me see what you're talking about. <clears throat> do y'all like dos bros? those bros as well what's those bros do tell you answer what it it is thanks oh oh you're talking about the sofrito hey rejuvenate fitness alexandria is in the house everyone say hello to alex my good friend alex if you go to my community tab she just uh dropped her second book um she talks about the true cost of plastic surgery as you know, we are living in a time period where people are obsessed with artificial beauty. Um, it's fleeting. Um, and once you pay, go down that line, it seems like it's a reoccurring cost for the rest of the people's lives. But there is a true cost to that. And she is a licensed massage therapist. And in the aftermath of all these various plastic surgeries, um, a lot of women have to go and get lymphatic um, massages and yeah she's seen some quite horrible things so anyway go to my community tab it may have been the second to the last thing I posted something like that but go and check it and um, support a sister or send it to someone that you know may need hello bam it hey miss Dorsha just got in didn't want to miss your life bam it bam it bam it Bam it, bam it, bam it, bam it, bam it, bam it. Hey, bam it, what's going on, my friend? <laughs> Y'all gotta forgive me. Anyway, so we're gonna shift because we're gonna make some. Now, I do have to say that the snickerdoodle is, you know, it's just, it's a very simple cookie. Okay. It's just a, Mamet loves to dance too. Okay, baby. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna concentrate right now because y'all getting tired of me. Y'all be like, you've been on here too long, girl. Hurry up and get to the point. <laughs> Um, we need some flour, we need some sugar. Flour, remember from 
our um, pantry, our nicely organized pantry, <laughs> and sugar. Now, you're probably like, well, why do you have sugar back there? That's a part of the coffee station. Look at that there. This is for the bacon and all the other kind of stuff we got going on, okay? Um, two large eggs. already softened I have unsalted and I have salted but whatever the case is you're gonna need one cup of butter you're gonna need two eggs two and three-fourths cup of flour one and a half teaspoon of cream of tartar and this is the thing there are not too many recipes that I use that require cream of tartar but one of my son's favorite cookies is snickerdoodle you need cream of tartar from the spice drawer okay if you go on to dorsha shops off of just dorsha.com go to the page and then i think i actually put in there um uh, how to um get the spice jars so you can have you a spice drawer okay the regular salt that we were talking about last week <laughs> i guys pure vanilla I think I actually have these on there as well and the concentric um, measuring cups. Now, the reason why I like these measuring cups is because they actually have three fourths. You know, you would have to do like a half a cup and one fourth to get three fourths. Well, they have it. So go and check me out on my Dorsha shops since, you know, y'all want me to be an affiliate, an associate with Amazon, help us sister out. Well, I'm already that. But I got to get three um, buys from my links within 180 days. So I need y'all to help me out. I'm also going to post the link for my book using a link. And then, yeah, you can do that too. <clears throat> I'm not going to preheat the oven because this needs to sit in the um, refrigerator. And, of course... We need this, okay? Because this is not something to do by hand, I promise you. What you talking about? Yes, about 30 more subscribers. Wait a minute, what's going on? Hey, sifting some soil, what's going on? Wait a minute, what did I miss? Hey guys, I'm talking about abandonment. Yes, 30 more subscribers. What? Uh-huh, getting ready to take the exam for my massage license again. Uh-oh, we're praying for you. Yes. No, your antics will help me remember the steps to the recipe. <laughs> Ooh, Just got turned on the snickerdoodle. Yes, they are the bomb. <laughs> yes, they are. Now, but like I said, they are a simple cookie, something light. Um, I can't say that. I mean, Amir loves sweets. But a snickerdoodle, that, that, he loves that cooking, honey. Yes, he loves that. Now I gotta remember which one to pull out so I can use this. Ah, that's the one. I'm gonna bring y'all down so y'all can see what I'm doing. <laughs> I need one more bowl, y'all. What happened to my other bowl? Hmm. Let me get a spoon so I can stir. Even though these things are on low, please do stir. Even though it's in a, a pan, it doesn't stick. Now, if you got boneless turkey, I mean chicken, thighs and breast, that would be great because then you can just chop it. And I'm going to show you how to chop this to add on to your rice bowl. But, um, uh, <laughs> it smells so good, um, but mine has the bone in it. Maybe that's why I was able to get like a bazillion pieces for like six dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah. Um, let me see who washed the dishes. Where did they put the bowl? <clears throat> All right, because I need to 
foot. Oh, Lord. Okay. In my large bowl. I'm going to bring y'all down so y'all can see what I'm doing. We shall behold him. We shall behold him face to face. All right, a little lime all in the way. <laughs> You're like, Dorsey, come on with it, sis. We tired of you about right now. Hey, you gotta go. I understand, but please, um, come back for the replay. You don't want to miss this. Something simple, not too serious or deep. Okay. But you did get a garden tour, okay? And we were outside grilling together. So we're gonna, um, now, you know I have a stand um, mixer. This is not, unless you're making a lot, you see how nice and soft that is? Unless you're making a lot, please do not use that for this. This is not worth you going through all that to do this. No, I promise you. Hey, Melissa, how are you doing? Thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. It could have been me outdoors with no food and no clothes, all left alone without a friend or just another number with a tragic end but you didn't see fit to let none of those things be <laughs> what y'all know about that thank you side ponytail pick a okay pick a uh -huh. anyway so if you don't know a stick of butter is a half a cup of butter so this is one cup of butter because we're making 24 cookies well, it can produce 24, but my cookies are probably going to be a little bit bigger. So let's just say, um, you know, between mm, maybe 15 to 20, but you can get up. This can yield you two dozen. Okay. Now we are going to add some sugar. We're going to do one and a half cups of sugar with the softened butter. Now, if this was like an active ingredient, I would not say to do this over this because you don't want to um, um, put too much anything, but a little bit of more sugar won't hurt anybody. Okay, pick a boop. And let me get my half a cup. you to forgive the noise in advance y'all ready y'all ready for this i've got my feet shot with the preparation of peace got the sword of the spirit shield of faith got my breastplate of righteousness helmet of salvation Ready for the battle. Praise is what I do when I want to be close to I lift my hand in praise. Know my circumstance. Even stand a chance.
she this? This is what I want. Okay, now, let me get my scraper. Um, scrape the sides. Yes, that is very helpful. Before we go to the next part. And uh, y'all remember when I did the video on Le Crusade? Ha ha! Yeah, honey. Expensive for no reason, okay? And yes, I said what I said. I said what I said. Yes, it does not make a difference in this scraper and the one I got from Amazon. However, I had a $250 um, gift card for my birthday. So, peekaboo, I went ahead and used it. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Now, these have been rinsed. And I'm not adding one at a time. And we're gonna add our vanilla. Ooh, honey, where's my teaspoon? No tablespoon, a teaspoon. One, two. How about two words? Through the good and the bad, how ever show, whether happy or sad. side so I can get out some of the remnants of you know this you know what I'm saying do what you gotta do boo but that's what I do okay this is gonna go in one of my little bags <laughs> <clears throat> okay now you will add your flour and um your cream of tartar your baking soda and your salt but what I want you to do because you can just add it as is but I want you to put those things together before you add them, okay? That's what I want you to do. That is my recommendation. But you can do whatever you want to do. Because I want it to be blended well. I don't want any part of, oh, too much salt was on this side or that side, whatever. And then we're going to mix those together with this before we put it into the batter, okay? Now, most recipes won't tell you to do that. But I'm going to tell you to do it because I care for you. I care. Two and a half. I mean, two and three-fourths cup of the flour. I went on the side. I'm gonna make this like that, okay? That's what we're gonna do. Hey, shortcake, how are you doing? So, what you think about all that about the fig? You were like very weird. <laughs> I thought that was an interesting comment that you made. <laughs> you said weird. I was like, okay, weird isn't necessarily something I would associate as a good thing. I'm getting down a little bit in my um flower. Well, you see, that is why I did not have that over there because we don't want any mistakes with this because this needs to be precise. There you go. Now, you can dirty up some more dishes and use a knife to level it off, but we're not doing all that. Now, for our X Factor, three-fourths cup. <laughs> oh, you be like, do she can use that flour that's right there on the dang on counter. No, I don't do that. Let me see. 
my hands. I'm not going too deep in this thing. Honey. All righty. That's good. See that? Bam it. Going to cut okra. It's a little cooler now. Good night, all. All right. Take some pictures of that okra. Yes, ma'am. That looks mouth watering so far. Ooh. Hi, fam. Thank you for being with us. We appreciate you. Let me get this out my way before I end up wearing it. I'm turning the um, beans and the corn off. They have done enough. I promise you, because they only needed to be heated up. Hmm. Let me wipe my counter. Wipe my counter. Isn't it amazing the things that, you know, your parents teach you as you grow up, they just kind of stick with you right along. But they stick with you. And my dad's thing was clean as you cook. And I thought that was wonderful that he believed that because guess who had KP duty every day? Yours truly. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you make sure you're cleaning while you're cooking. Lighten my load. I didn't have anyone to share that duty with. I had to do it all by myself, peoples. <laughs> uh oh what's going on with my own thing all right so um now let me get my teaspoon wipe the vanilla out of there and dry it and why am i drying it because i'm going to put cream of tar tartar okay once again, I am not going to uh, measure that over that. At all. You see that? And now we're going to do a half. Where's my half? Is this my half? So one and a half teaspoons okay and not table tea little tea i don't want too much or too little never too much never too much ah. all right now we're going to do a teaspoon of salt of this nice iodine salt oops and definitely do not measure this stuff over your other. All right. And I need a half a teaspoon. It's okay. I need a half a teaspoon of baking soda, not powder. Baking soda. Now with this one, just even it on the side of the box. See that? You're good to go. Move all this out the way. And just mix this together well. Get rid of any lumps that are in there. Add some, stir it in there. As you see, I did not say blend it in there. Stir, stir. Add a little more. Put a little love. 
in your heart. Mm. Babe, what's your favorite worship song? He has to think. I just put him on the spot. <laughs> All right. And now the last of it. Um, the weird part was how the fig needs to eat flesh whilst reproduce. So the figs in yonder years were carnivorous. That's the weird part. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that part. Mm. <laughs> Thank you for so wonderfully explaining that. <laughs> mm. Yeah. You're messing up my whole newfound love for figs just by reiterating that little part. I don't know if I got that deep into her thing, but I just thought it was educational. I mean, I'm saying I read some of it, but I didn't read all of it. Ah. Uh, oh, Lord. I gotta go back and look at it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, that just sounds nasty. But anyway, make sure you can get whatever you can off of the sides. You see how I did that with the back of the spoon? Okay, now this is the part. <laughs> I'm going to take some plastic wrap. Ooh, yeah. Plastic wrap. It's so clingy. Clingy, clingy, clingy. Okay. I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator, okay? This is gonna be in the refrigerator for 20 to 30 minutes. It'll give us enough time to eat, and then I'll come back and I'll get it, and guess what? We're gonna make it do what it do, okay? I can bring y'all up. I'm bad. Mmm. 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 Oh, so good. Yeah. Oh. Y'all already know how I feel about cookies, though. And even though people are like, no, eat that. Yes. All of my life. <laughs> Cake batter and cookies, though. But, you know, growing up with a dad. A lot of men aren't bakers. There are some, but a lot of them aren't. So, he didn't do a lot of baking. Especially not desserts. I'm just washing my hands. I'll be back with you momentarily. Woo! Yeah. Yes. Hey, Cheryl, how are you doing? Peekaboo, how are you doing? Still love figs and so good for my body. Yeah, I want to make some um, fig uh, preserves this year. My friend Davina has a massive, ginormous fig tree. So, last year she invited me over there. 
I was so busy, I didn't get an opportunity to. But this year, I said, I definitely will. I've never made um, preserves before. And that's why I was very excited about the jalapenos. Because I've never pickled um, peppers before. So I got a lot of first. Now, to finish off your snickerdoodle cookies, you take about one fourth cup of sugar and about two tablespoons of cinnamon. Mix those together. Take your dough. You can put them and roll them into little balls and put them in that sugar cinnamon mix. Um, put them in the oven, 350 degrees, and bake them about 10 minutes and they're done. That's it. But I told you I'm gonna try something a little different, so. But yeah, that's what you do. And that's it, it's a snickerdoodle. Tastes delicious. So that was a special request from Amir, my dear. And as you know, this is my son's, both of their last weekend at home. Sharif moves into his housing on campus and Amir moves into his off-campus housing. So, yes, I'm gonna miss them already. It was just so nice having them here for the summertime. And yeah, we'll have the holidays and all that good stuff, but I just miss them so much already in advance. I feel like I'm going to cry, y'all. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. And uh, I ran into a friend of mine who was actually on the live I did with my girlfriend. And she dropped her son off last Tuesday and she's been, you know, in and out of it. She misses him. And he's in contact with her because she's trying to share things with her. But she, you know, it's just been them two for a very long time. All of, like, yeah, forever. And, you know, it just is what it is. Some people are like, yeah, well, I'll be glad if mine are gone. <laughs> to each his own, to each his own. That's all I can say. But yeah. Then Sunday he goes back to um kitchen duty with um <laughs> washing dishes and taking out the trash. <laughs> because uh that's funny. That's his uh that's his job when the boys aren't around. But they've been around for the summer, so. Oh, y'all, I'm going to miss my babies. Ah! Oh, it's okay to cry. I'll be here for that if at all possible. <sighs> all right, y'all, I'm getting emotional. Oh, I feel like I'm about to cry right now. I got to finish this live with y'all. Then I'm going to cry. Cause right now my chest is hurting so much. Oh, oh I'm trying not to cry. You want me to finish it? No, I'm gonna finish it. I'm just saying. Okay, y'all, let me get myself together. Come here. Come here. What do you want me for? Oh, why your shirt dirty? Because then I could cry in your chest. No. Come here. Be a big girl. I'm trying. <laughs> Y'all, like these tears are like really cut. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Let me get some tissue. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Yeah, I got the game for you. Got the game for you. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I, mean, I really you need didn't it mean. down more than me. I didn't mean. Oh. Hi. Sings. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, they said 
She said, y'all sing too. Who's they? Uh, my pronouns are him. him. <laughs> <laughs> Amir said his pronouns are he and him, not they. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, y'all. I feel that. better. Oh, okay. All right, boys. I'm... Dismiss. <laughs> oh, Lord. I wasn't expecting that, y'all. I really was not I need to see the video. I, I saw it coming. coming. That's why I went and got the boys. Because <laughs> they probably thought I was being mean when I just left. Yeah. <laughs> I was like... They said, oh, T TB says sing that emotions. <laughs> oh, they heard me. I didn't know. I, I tried to whisper that. Um, let me just show y'all really quick how to chop up this chicken. What time? Is it? Oh, some water. Yeah. We ate at like <laughs> we ate at three thirty. Yeah, that was a long. <laughs> That's what time we had our breakfast, y'all, at three thirty. So I don't know. Yeah, those are mine. It's not mine. Oh, all right. Okay, so <laughs> you said I already told him no. <laughs> what did you say? No, you said I already took one. Oh, those are mine. Uh -huh. It's a good morning. So this is the chicken breast. Now, of course, this one is even easier because this doesn't have bone in it. But I, I prefer the um, dark meat versus the light meat. So if you're making your bowl, try to um, make your pieces like this size. Nothing huge, okay? That's the chicken breast. Mm -hmm. However, this has the bone in it. Mm -hmm. There you go. I prefer this, but if you are a white meat person, then you can do that, okay? Then, of course, you can take the rest of the meat off of the bone, but preferably get it with it, not on the bone. But you can save money at the grocery store if you get it with the bone. Yeah. Okay? And the dark meat is just so tender. Yes. Now, I'm going to do a bowl for you so that you can see it for illustration purposes. They do sell the bowls um, um, from Chipotle on Amazon. <clears throat> Purchased those before when I had Sunday supper and there was about eight of us. But I'm gonna use these bowls. These are porcelain white. Okay. This has been cleaned and it's just been sitting. I'm just gonna take some of it. Now, normally I would just start chopping, but it's going to end up making all of that, and I'm not ready for that yet. So,
I'm just creating a bed of lettuce. Okay. For the purposes of sharing this with you. I brought my rice cooker over. As soon as you open up the rice cooker, you can smell the um the lawn. So this is um, rice that was made with lime zest. I'm going to add some of the corn. Spread it a little bit. Salsa. I'm going to add some of the chicken. Now, at this juncture, you could add a scoop of the sour cream, you could add your jalapenos, or you could add the guacamole. But that's a personal decision, so I will let them decide what they want to garnish on top of theirs. But I wanted you to get the gist. Can someone take a screenshot of this? give or take whatever you want to but just get the basic um, concept of making this right this could have been beef this could have been pork or it could just be all veggies right you could take some bell pepper which I didn't which I was going to but you could take some um, red and green bell peppers and onions and do like you're going to do a fajita and you could have put those on there with just beans and the veggies and da da da. It could have been a veggie bowl, but we have a chicken bowl. There you go. I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you enjoyed our time together. Um, yeah. This isn't reality TV. This is just reality, and uh, I love, I love my children. I love my friends. I love y'all. Thank y'all for uh, spending your Sunday with me. I don't take that for granted. And um, thank you for sharing this experience. You know, um, I'm a mom, so I really can't really say that I'm being apologetic. I just didn't want this to take up so much of your time this evening. <laughs> we'll be having my little emotional breakdown because this is my last Sunday. But of course, you know, I'm going to see them again. But like I said, I took um, about seven and a half years of my life and I dedicated it to my children. Um, I, I'm the person who taught them how to read, how to write, uh, um, develop a curriculum for them. I homeschooled them. Um, you know, I made whatever sacrifices that I had to, you know, for them because I never had a mom growing up. I never knew what that was like. I didn't have a parent at home with me. Um, that was there for me when I left or when I came home. I was a latchkey kid, you know. But my single parent did the absolute best job that he could, and I applaud him, whatever, but I, I wanted to give my children. Um, I asked God to bless me to be something that I never had a role model of being, and that was to be the best mother for Amir and Sharif. Um, so... We are a close family. 
we're close knit. Um, and you know, it was just like, you know, Sharif said, yes, I do. I go in his room, he's 18 years old. And I say, group hug, a hug from me and the Holy Spirit to you, right? And me and Amir will binge watch a lot of the little shows that I have binge watch and be like, we'll binge watch them together, right? It'd be bonding. He can talk to me about his relationships and stuff and come to me for sage advice, wisdom. And I cherish those moments because he doesn't have to. He could go to someone in the street, right? But the thing about going to your peers, getting insight into situations that they roads they've never traveled before is that they can only give you this much, right? <laughs> uh, so I appreciate that. And I appreciate Sunday because he has been in their lives. Um, we started dating in 2010. So he has been in my children's lives for a decade now. And um, he knew them when they were, you know, younger men. And now they have turned into young adults. And it's been a blessing to have him, you know, love them. And, of course, his love for them in the beginning was just a show of his. It was like um, the fruit of his love for me. And, um, and then it grew into his own relationship with them. And um, I cherish, you know, that relationship. I also cherish the relationship that he has with my father. Um, so, yeah, you know, I don't have any pretension or anything to share with anyone. I'm just going to be just Dorsha 100. So today I'll cry, I'll sing with you, I'll dance with you, I'll pray with you, whatever. But I'm going to be just who God has called me to be, and that's Dorsha. Let me um, look at the chat before I sign off for a good night. Looks delicious. Looks good. Very nice, Dorsha. Good night. Blessings. Great job on the recipe. Take care. Thanks. Thank you, Dorsha, for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Wow. Well worth my stay making for tomorrow's meal. Um, tweaks a little here and there. Thanks. You are so welcome. I appreciate you. Wait a minute. Something just happened. I just... I just missed something. It was something blocked. Thank you for sharing. That was great. Thanks, man. So anyway, as we do, hey, friend, how are you doing? I love you and your spirit, Dorsha. Thank you, my sister. <laughs> friend, just seeing you there. Mm, just put a little smile. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, before we go off of this, let us pray together as we do. Prayer of the righteous availeth much. So, Father, we thank you for this day and yet another opportunity for us to live, love, and serve you. Lord, we don't take anything for granted. We thank you for all of your grace and your mercy that you extend to us on a daily basis. We thank you for your protection and for your provision, for your wisdom for your insight for your revelation knowledge that guides us we thank you that our footsteps are ordered that no hurt harm or danger will come near our dwelling because we have made the secret place of the most high god our dwelling place and that secret place is a place of praise and worship and prayer unto you we can tap in especially when we want to tap out of life we can tap into you because in you there is refuge there is strength we know that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. We know that you've already made a way before we even got to the path where there was any confusion and we were trying to figure out a way. You are the way. Jesus, we thank you for being the way, the truth, and the life. We thank you that whatever comes in our path this week that is already worked out, that your Holy Spirit will just breathe life, will whisper in our ears, and we will be obedient because it is better to be obedient than to sacrifice. So we give you all the praise and the glory. But let our light so shine that men will see our good works and glorify you, Father, that's in heaven. For our good, others' good, and for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. And Sunday's going to close out with me. Hey, Precious, how are you doing? <laughs> Okay. I know. 
I know, this is just me. Clean your lens. Clean your lens. It just looks. I right. think it's that brightness back there. What do you want me to, what do you mean close out? We're getting ready to get off of here. <laughs> Amen, guys. Amen. <laughs> Now I was just looking at her while she was praying. I'm just so proud of her and um, for all her strengths and everything. So I was just admiring. I'm a uh, I'm a fan as well. So I was just admiring from behind the scenes. Now she want me on camera. So. Peekaboo! <laughs> <laughs> I'll see y'all on Wednesday night at 7 p.m. See y'all there in these YouTube streets. See you tomorrow at 9 o'clock for our sister Sharif as she has her garden chat. 9 a.m. Um, honey, they did some serious shopping and um, they're in Miami for real, real. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Thank you, moderators. Thank y'all, chat. Thank you, everyone who has watched this. May you all be blessed. Have a prosperous week and let your light shine. Till next time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>